you to the wolves right after I pulled you out of your mother. Get out! Just... Get out! No. <gasps> Let's go. <gasps> You'll just be a forgotten chapter in his story! He'll be too busy mourning his father! I see you again! You'll wish you died with your parents! You sure it's all right to leave her here? What if she comes out looking for... She used to leave me food? What? She'd say she didn't care about me, but... Sometimes I'd wake up and... I'd see a loaf of bread sitting next to the fire. It's baked just the way she always used to. She's not a monster, you know? She's lost. You wanna walk? It's fine. This was a long time coming. We'll be back once we reach the other side of this pass. Well, then, that's two out of three. Atreus. Race me. Come on. I see what you're doing. You know you want a rematch after and last time. I appreciate. Um, last time, I beat you. I'm pretty sure it was a tie. Pretty sure it wasn't. So prove me wrong. One, two, three, go! Fine. You coming or what? Go, go, go! You're fucked? Oh no, you don't! Watch the turn here! <laughs>
a magic fox the whole way. Loki, or er, Atreus. Thank you. I'm sorry she was so hard on you. Me too. Well, I suppose you're ready to get home now. I'll meet you by the shrine when you're ready. Do I have to leave? Not if you don't want to. Your prophecy was less clear on when you have to go. My prophecy. You still don't believe it, do you? I can't. I think I'm being stupid. I think? You care for your dad so much, you can't conceive of a world where you let him get hurt. Come here. I need to show you something. Laufey? My mother's? I wish it weren't empty, but... I know how it feels... to lose a parent... to lose both. Your mother may be gone, but your father... You've still got time to say goodbye. I know what you're trying to say. And I appreciate it. I do. But... I don't know. We've got to be more than a bunch of stories with our endings already written. happens to you now. I don't know. Like I said, once you're gone, my part in this is over. So, you know, feel free to stay. I think your part is as big as you want it to be. What are you gonna do? No idea. But I can't just sit back and let my dad die. I gotta get back. Okay. Huh. The stars here are different. No. You just are. I am gonna see you again. Sure. Okay, now. Close your eyes. And hold that tight. You don't want to lose it. Home. Think of it. Repeat it.
Back to Sindri's and figure out how to save father. And I gotta keep Ironwood and Angrobota a secret somehow. What'd I get myself into? What were you thinking? I. I wanted to visit Fenrir. For two days. I. Do not lie to me again! Why did you come here? Alone? No more than you. Then why? Why? What is it you will not tell me? I have tried to walk this path with you. We follow your every whim. But you don't believe in any of it. And still, I follow. Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Who's keeping you safe? I do not need you to protect me. You sure about that? What do you know? I can't talk about it, but I just need you to trust me. You kept secrets, but I trust you. It's not the same. Why not? You hid things. Mother hid things. You had good reasons, and so do I. Why can't you just... Uh, blocking, remember? We're not the bad guys here. 
Violation imaginable. No! You do not want this. Hold your mind. Control it. She was our friend. Maybe. For the moment. You're of more use to me. Alive. <clears throat> this home. Home? Really? You will tell the truth when I return. Now I must set things right. Um. We'll take him. Oh, Your Majesty, a pleasure to see you again. Bronifer. <laughs> Do not let him out of your sight. You heard him, sunshine. Come on, get a move on. Refuse to remain bound to this realm. We travel to Vanaheim. Well, guess it's just us then. <sighs> One gateway to Vanaheim coming right up. If you are still bound, how will you travel? I crafted a protection ward that'll keep me from being pulled out of the realm. It should hold until I find what I need. And what is that? The source of the magic that binds me to Midgard. We're going to find it. And destroy it. I will help you. But it will not change what I have done. I know. That's why I still might kill you when this is over. Are we going or what? Ain't going nowhere without this. Where would you mug spouts even be without me? What is it you expect to need Kratos for, Highness? Clearly, you've been quite capable of breaking Odin's curses on your own. The other curses grew weak from Thimble Winter, but I still needed help to break them. This one is held strong. So all that trying to kill him, that's just your goddessy way of asking for help? I don't recall asking you to come along. Because you didn't. 
I got an old drinking buddy I've been meaning to look up once this joint were back on the map. Got a hunch lending you mokes a hand's gonna end me up where I'm going. And what makes you think that? Cause last I heard tell, she was running with that beef-wit brother of yours. Freya... ...is not a part of this. Well, my hunch says otherwise. Scroat, too. I can feel the pool of the Binding Curse. Its source is further in. Follow me. Muggier than a Moofleheim shit pit out here. And nearly as fragrant. Suppose Fimblewinter's to blame. But if it helps these two find peace... This is a temporary alliance, Mimir. Anything beyond that would require trust. Oh, please. You know damn well Kratos isn't the true cause of your suffering. You're both as much a part of my suffering as anyone. <laughs> That's gonna need more magic than we got, Sonus. Come on, let's find a way forward. Through here. Oh no. Something's wrong. My spell, I can feel it slipping. Well, that's Thimble Winter for you. You don't understand. I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. Seems I don't have much choice. <sighs> Come on, then. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel. And it solves very little. This form is extremely limiting. Hey, uh, how's about a riddle to take your mind off? What runs with no legs? Easy, a nose. You'll have to try harder than that, bro. Just you wait, smart guy. Fuckle! Watch where you're going. <laughs> I told you. Prune it from a safe distance if you'd rather not get poisoned. Looks interesting. Oh. Old Brock to the rescue! What you say? Has everyone gone, I wonder? They must have withdrawn, hidden themselves out in the wilds, and covered their tracks with magic. No way of knowing how many are left or how to reach them. Aesir ran cockshot all over this place, huh? You can thank Mimir for that. War with the Vanir was never my idea. My idea was brokering the marriage to end it. A great success that was. Obviously, the peace was no less a disaster than the marriage. Did he invade again, as soon as I was exiled? Mumir, do you understand these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. Go! 
up an awful scene. Why do you keep bringing him up? My brother is no concern of yours. Do you understand? Oh, I... Hey! The plant life grows more dangerous the further we go. Hope you're up for it. Listen, I know how bad it can get with one's own kin. Sindri and I were on the out so long it was like not having a brother at all. Now, I take some of the fall for that on account of me walking out. But it never stopped me blaming him most. Any of this sound familiar so far? And what is your point? My point is, that weren't the end all of things after all. Once we got our heads right, it was like no time. He went straight back to being as big a pain in my ass as he ever was. That's family. We gotta keep them close. Where they make you good and crazy. Why do you think I need to hear any of this right now? My focus is on regaining my freedom, and I have no intention of being distracted. Look, all I'm saying is, if you happen to find yourself talking to your brother, maybe the worst words <laughs> said between you don't have to be the last one you said. Enough! <laughs> When the day comes to face Freya again, it will be when I am standing on my feet and free. Do you understand me? It will not be while I'm stuck in this preposterous situation. Got a case of pride, I guess. Hope yours clears up quicker than mine did. A touching story, that was. Bite me. You wish. What did Odin do to drive everyone away? What weapons did he make the dwarves build him? How much was just Mjolnir? Can one man do this? It depends on the weapon and the man. What'd you find? Sounds shiny. Yeah. <laughs> This river, it used to be filled with boats of people visiting from different villages. I've never seen it so empty. What is this? Not now, brother. We've got company. One of them hairy ass bastards! Hey, call an old record trip! <laughs> Got another one going in the party! Look alive! Take it off, man! You got it! Get up, brother!
What is this? Not now, brother. We got company. Uh, one of them hairy ass bastards. And you want to keep your insides inside. Yeah. All yours. Your people not receiving visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. Come on up. Bet you're glad old Brock's around to save your skin. Uh-oh. We should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. Send another god to do his dirty work. Thor too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing then. All right. No, no. No need for threats, brother. Oh, I know that voice. <laughs> you know, I'd cut off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye. Oh, quite observant, brother. <laughs> no, you're no brother of mine. You sold my sister to that prick. We broke it a piece. Oh. Did you? Where is it? Hmm? And where is it?
there is my sister. Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me! I guess we'll settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Yngwie. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can't undo what's been done. I can. I will. Now let them pass. So... You serve my sister. Put him down. What's with leaving me hanging like that, you crusty hag? Oh, can it, Blubber? Come here. Well, found who I was looking for. Think I'm gonna stay and catch up. Oh, are you now? Do as you wish. Brother, if you wouldn't mind, I'd have a word with Lord Fair. Uh, Brock, what do you think you're doing just setting up shop at my fort? Just cause I hug you don't mean I ain't still sore at you squabbling sandpipers. We fixed it so you can come and go between the realms whenever you please, you're very welcome. Go? This here's my family, and I mean much to you, but I mean plenty to me. It does too mean something to me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made up with my plunker head brother. Five million moonbeams! I didn't realize the Hulk brothers were packing business. We're even cohabitating like a proper family. So don't tell me! Oh, okay, well, well, then you can help me at the forge while you spill everything. Now, Brock, ain't you gonna introduce me to this tall glass of milk you got for a bodyguard? Of course I was gonna. That's Kratos. Though you can call him whatever pops. Sorry, we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. Kratos? I'm pretty used to only seeing Aesir in these parts. Well, Don't typically get friendly I guess it's faces. Better than nothing. That. That is a friendly face. His name is Kratos, and no. The Aesir on Vanaheim. <laughs> yeah, we've been occupied since. Uh, I lost count. What is your plan? Still kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Well, I'll take what I can get. Your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Hey, Kratos. As long as you're working for my sister, Carefully, you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. A bit late for that one, I'm afraid. All right, let's see what you're doing here. Tell me about it. Now that the distractions are out of the way. I have words, if you would hear them. Speak, then. With anger you feel for your brother, I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys, he was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors, so by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me, but I never stopped loving my brother. You think my anger is irrational? You've known Freyr for mere moments, and already you're taking his side? I am not taking his... No. You're just sharing your thoughts on a subject you know nothing about. <laughs>
An ancient. I know what you're doing. Trying to play on my sympathies in the hope I let you live. I am only trying to help. The mistakes of the past need not be repeated. I don't need to hear about your mistakes. I've made enough of my own, thanks.
Everyone is so eager to advise me. As if any of you know me or what I need. The biggest loss in my life is due to you saving me when I specifically told you not to. Well, it was my family, my mess. I know Baldur wasn't perfect, but he was mine. I know. You know? You think you can even begin to understand the pain of losing a child? Yes, I do. There was another. Before Atreus? Her name was Calliope. Calliope. What happened? It was long ago. Never mind. I shouldn't have asked. Oh! <laughs> 
We need to get to that watchtower. We'll have to go through the valley, this way. I know your son's story. You should know my daughter's. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, their guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya, but it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is not peace I seek. All those times I found you, why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. Village. I hardly recognize it. I used to play hide and seek with Freyr in the crops. We spend afternoons stealing honeybread from the Grand Hall. At harvest time, we dance and feast until the sun rose. It was all so simple. Why did I have to come back here and be reminded of all this? The Grand Hall. It's in ruin. May Freya never waver. The other half is missing. May she protect us always. An old adage, if you will. You can get through over here! I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. Go! <laughs> 
I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 